Thank you, Marina. I now have the distinct pleasure of being joined by one of NASA's record-setting astronauts and a recent resident aboard the International Space Station, Christina Cook. Christina, thanks for joining us. Great to be with you, Dan. Christina, we're coming up on 20 years of continuous human presence on the space station, and you were one of those humans. What's it like to see a new milestone like this launch unfold after so much history already? So much history indeed. Um, it is really just such a testament to NASA. Not only are we pushing the boundaries of knowledge and discovery and exploration, but we're pushing the boundaries on how we accomplish that mission. We're bringing in commercial partners. We're fostering a space economy. So we're making sure that we're always pushing forward, always taking that next step. I think it's such a privilege to be part of an organization that recognizes if we're not actually making steps and in innovating every single time we do this, then we're not truly answering humanity's call to explore and to push those boundaries. Christina, I know Bob and Doug are veterans themselves, but what advice do you have for Bob and Doug, given your experience as a long-duration station crew member? Well, being able to live on board the International Space Station and work there is just such a privilege. You know, you're a steward of this amazing laboratory that's bringing so many benefits down to Earth and also learning how we can push farther into the universe. So it is quite an honor, and I think that's the main thing about how it feels to be up there for a long duration. You know, in terms of advice, um, Bob and Doug have been great mentors for me. They've given me advice for so many years. It's strange to be the one who could be in a position to offer them anything. But I would say that as, you know, shuttle flyers, they used to participate in missions that were really, really intense, go, go, go all the time. Long duration space flight is more of a marathon than a sprint. So I would tell them to take that moment, enjoy it, and you know, really welcome the opportunity to have part of your mission be taking it all in and sharing that with the people that got you there. Thanks again, Christina. Always a pleasure to hear from you and fantastic words. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, my pleasure. So 